Hi everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise, Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my happy memory keeping journal. Um, I've done a couple of spreads. Here was Memorial Day weekend. I did a little bit from my trip to Florida. I have some sticky notes here to note what stickers are going to go, uh, not what stickers, what photos are going to go where, um, because this way I can order them. So the way that I do it, I have a printer, but it doesn't print great photos. I think it printed, no, it didn't print these because those I got ended up getting done at CVS. But um, not that it's an, I can't print at CVS, but there was like a problem the first time I did it. And I don't know, I have to drive there and <laughs> it's mildly annoying. So I recently learned that with Amazon Prime, or maybe you can, maybe if you don't have Prime, you can order photos as well. Um, and it's like 15 cents a print, which is pretty much the same cost at CVS. And I can just order them, you know, from the convenience of my couch, whenever I feel like it, whenever I have the time and eventually they'll get delivered. I say eventually it's like, it's not like prime. It might take a week, but, um, given that I'm doing these with videos, I kind of have them planned out where like, I know that it'll be, I won't be sitting here waiting for them. So I have four photos here from my nephew's birthday, and I think they might be a little bit big, but it's okay. Some of them are a little big. All right, let me take these pages off. I also want to apologize for my nails. I've been using gel nails for about a month now, like a gel nail polish kit that I got. And uh, while it's great, I just need to give them a little bit of a breather because they're breaking and they feel weak. So I have Sally Hansen hard as nails on them right now, and then I just need them to get healthy, but it should only take, I think, a couple of days, uh, maybe a week, but I'm not gonna stop doing videos in the meantime. So if someone having um, unpolished nails, it bothers you, I apologize. Okay, so let's see. I have these here and I also pulled out the Summer Fun sticker book and some scrap of like recollections this is a home basics paper pad. I love it. It's 180 sheets and it's just like every color you can imagine. So I think, let's see, it might be fun to take this yellow and white stripe. Or maybe we'll do blue and green because those kind of seem to be the colors that are in these photos. I think that the first couple of videos I made or sp at least spreads that I made using this new happy memory keeping line. Um, I just kind of kept it simple because I hadn't really done this before. I feel like I must have used a lot of the greens because I was looking for more of like a stripe and that's not here, but that's okay. We can use this like lattice sort of print. Um, but now I want to have a little bit more fun with it. I've seen kind of some of the ways that other people have used theirs and it's like, okay, now we can have fun. I'm wondering if I should use that same lattice print in the blue. Maybe these don't all have the same prints. Maybe that's what it is. Let's take this stripe. Okay. And this is just pretty thin paper. It's not like anything, anything special. So I wonder if I kind of put these on here like this. I think that's what we'll do. So let me mark sort of where I want to cut this piece. Uh, you know how I do with measuring and cutting. Um, up there and then like right over here. What I really love about this line is that it's undated. It's not like a planner that you, that's dated and then you just put in everything that happens that week. Cause in my life, things don't happen every week. I mean, life happens, but not, I don't wanna say nothing to note down because I do put it in my planner, but like not always photos and things like that. So I was kind of thinking like put this here just like that so I have my Tombow permanent adhesive which I always seem to have trouble getting started okay and 
then I'm going to try to sort of center this right here. There we go. So this is my, this picture is my nephew and my stepdad. And um, my mom and stepdad had given my nephew a new soccer net for his birthday. So now he has two soccer nets in his backyard and he can practice all the time. But I love that his arms are just up in the air like that. He's so excited. Okay. And then I was looking at the summer fun sticker book while talking to a friend the other day. And I noticed that I think there were some like soccer type Maybe there was a net or something. Let's see. Not road trip. I know there's one of these. There we go. Oh, that's volleyball. Oh, there's soccer. Perfect. Look how perfect that is. I probably wouldn't have really had a use for that otherwise. So let's put that sticker right over there. And then I wanna grab fun alphabets. All right, I somehow seem to have misplaced my fun alphabet sticker. <laughs> Can't find it right now, sticker book. So I'm just going to grab um, alphabet because I know that there are some blues in here. There we go, okay. So let's take These. We're gonna kind of put them right up here. The first year that my nephew, well, was alive, was born, I don't know, <laughs> I got um, like a Shutterfly book of, you know, the first year of his life and all of that kind of stuff. I think this is fun to do this way because I mean if this whole book isn't him this so far is kind of just like my summer but it's fun to have a way to kind of plan and you know memory keep this time is and nine then over here they might be too small but i don't think this sticker this page has them there's an exclamation point over here so why not just throw that in it's a little tiny but it's okay. it kind of looks like 91. i might end up removing it we'll see okay now let me move this over um i'm gonna take Let's say, let's take this green one. Oh, I pulled off two. Whoops. Um, and kind of do the same thing. Oh, I need this size, this side though. Let's turn that right here. And then right up here. Maybe I'll use the bigger scissors for this part. I'm just fine where I made that little slit. I could probably use a pen for that too. Where's the slit over here? There it is. Definitely easier to see on the back. Okay, let's check the size. Good. Um, let's do that this way. I don't know why this is so hard to get going. I'm gonna kind of line this up. I probably should have used the blue one here because it's sort of the green on the green. I'm sure it's too late, so I'm just going to leave it be. But these are lessons I learned for next time. Okay. 
There we go. All right, now let's get these last two down as well. So I feel like this is gonna be a little bit too small now, but I don't wanna use up like all this paper. So I think I'm just gonna take this green one and we'll put it right there. And then this blue, I'll do kind of this. Is that the right blue? Yeah. So I guess as I'm going through this, I'm kind of worrying less about it being the perfect measurement and just having fun with it more. If you are interested in this memory keeping journal, I have it linked in uh, the description of this video. Oops. Got some of the. Sorry, I know the camera's shaking. Had to get that off. Okay, and now let's do that. So let's get these down. The photos that I ordered for the next round of this, I actually got matte, not glossy. Um, to be honest with you, they're easier to take photos of when they're matte. And so like you can probably, I'm guessing, see some reflection on the ring light here. And then also when I try to take a photo of the photos on the page, it's a little bit more challenging. So I got the matte ones instead. Okay, and this is where he had his cake and then he slept over my apartment and asked if we could plan together. So I have a picture of him on my couch with my planners. All right, let's continue decorating. Um, the writing I'm probably going to do off camera just because it's hard to write and talk and do all of that at the same time. Um, all right, this is, that's a clear sticker. I have that summer fun sticker book, but I also have the original happy memory keeping holidays out. So let's see. Maybe there's, I'm sure there's some kind of birthday thing. Oh, that wonderful sticker is good. Forgot about these flowers. Fourth of July. All right, let's take this. Happy birthday. Put this one right over here. And maybe we can take these balloons. kind of put them right here too because I don't need a ton of room to write like that we had cake um and maybe I can put this up there and eh, that one's a little bit weird all right and then wonderful I liked so I want to grab wonderful Move this one over. Put this. Oh, I just ripped that somehow. Okay. Let's take that U out. Or that's not the U, that's the bottom of the F. That's strange. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often with clear stickers. Um I think that's probably it. Oh, these are more birthday ones. Um, eh, I don't love those stickers. All right, we'll put those to the side. I was gonna take food out because I figured there was cake in here somewhere. Yep, we've got cake. I don't really have much. Mm -hmm. We're gonna skip the cake. Are like odd food stickers. Okay, let's go back to summer fun, maybe. Um, you know what? Let me do the alphabets. So let's take those blue the blue letters again. And S L E N O. Okay, we can do it. 
I'm gonna put sleepover down here or up here. Just so that now this side has black and black, this side has blue and blue, and it's just kind of a little bit more cohesive than it was looking. And then I think I'm gonna do a couple more things um, to prep for writing down like the memories about it and then we will be all set. So let me get this last letter down, Sleep over. Okay, I could have centered that a little bit better, but it's all right. Now what I'm going to do is take some lined paper If I can find a lined paper. I've got a big old thing of note paper. Oh, I probably could have used, I have these in here also. I probably could have used some of these. Um, could I put this big nine there? Yeah, let's do that instead. Instead of this little nine and this little exclamation point. So this is a six, but it's the right color. So I'm turning it over and no one will know. <laughs> there we go. I think that that looks cool. All right, now back to the lined paper. So, okay, this is a, the old notes there. All right, so I've got these, this note paper. Um, I'm going to trim off the disc portion of it, or the punched portion, I guess. And then trim here. fit there. This will not fit here. I guess I should take off the yellow. I originally thought it might look fun, but it's not on all sides, so we're just going to remove it. Okay, this will fit there. Let's get this yellow part taken off too. I could have just used regular note paper that did not have this all over it. Um, all right. Back to the Tombow. I think I'm probably gonna need to buy some more of this and I'm seeing how much of it I'm using in these spreads. So let's get that down. And this will give me the opportunity to kind of write and journal about it and note things that I might wanna remember in the future about this day. Okay, and then let's just do two more, and then I think we might be all set. It's looking a little plain to me, but this is, again, something new for me, so I just want to give myself a little bit of the like freedom to kind of learn as I go. I definitely brightened up by using that scrap of paper, but um, there's still plenty of like white space. I want to see if I can lift this soccer goal up a little bit. Uh, let's take a little bit of undo here. Maybe this is something that I need to like put down the note paper before I do this. I also think it's good because, whoops, given that this is a new product, just this this type of photo journal and not the regular memory keeping, I don't know if there are a ton of videos out there showing how to use it, so maybe we can all kind of learn together with this. Okay, and then let's lift up this nine a little bit. Okay, 
There we go. All right, that's better. And the final one, there's not a lot of room here, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit more, but what do I need to write? That like, we sang and he had cake, <laughs> so. just do that. Okay, the only final thing that now I'm thinking, this has been like kind of crooked, sorry, is bringing in a little bit of washi maybe. So I've got that blue that might work. If I could find the edge. Sort of maybe looks like it's like taped down. I could really probably do the edges, like the corners if I actually wanted that look. Whoops, that was a lot. And then, oops, not <laughs> wide enough. Okay, I think that added something. Um, all right, once I fill this in, I mean, it will look a little bit less, I need to rip this because I don't want this going to the edge. It'll look a little bit less empty, but I think that it kind of gives me like a good template sort of to go off of. I can't seem to, yeah. oh, there we go, got it ripped. Okay, let me put this back on the discs. And if you are looking to figure out how to size photos for um, these sections, because let me show you in one second. So these all have, they say like two by four by two by four, 2.5 by 3.5, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I know Heather has a video showing how she does it in Photoshop. I think she only shows Photoshop. So if that's... Um, if that's it, I'll sh I can show you, do a video if you want in Canva. Let me know if you're interested in that on how to size these and how I size them and print them. Um, but I think that's a wrap. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time.